Hello, my name is Dr. Bugase, and today I am here to demonstrate for you how to do the experiment on moment of inertia and torsional vibrations using the experimental setup of FIWI. With this experimental setup, we are able to measure the angular restoring moment of a spiral spring from which we are able to compute the angular restoring constant of the spring. We are, so, we are also able to measure the moment of inertia of the solid sphere, the cylinder, the solid one of course, and we can also measure that of a hollow cylinder, and we can also measure that of a disc. We can also measure the angular restoring moment of a rod with point masses placed symmetrically on it. To measure the angular restoring moment of the spiral spring, we need the rod with the symmetrical masses placed on it and a spring balance of 2.5 newtons. Placing the rod on the spiral spring, we are able to measure the force on the spring by placing the spring balance on the rod and then rotating it 180 degrees, maintaining the spring balance at 90 degrees to the rod. From this 180 rotation, we measure from the spring balance the force exerted. And from this force, we're able to compute the angular restoring moment, knowing the distance of the point mass to the origin. And we can repeat this for 360 degrees, we can repeat that again for 540 and then 720. And from a plot of the angular restoring moment of the spiral spring against the angle of rotation, we can deduce the angular restoring constant of the spiral spring. To measure the moment of inertia of the solid objects given, we can replace that with, for example, the solid cylinder where we have attached a kessa to the origin of the solid cylinder on the spiral spring. And there you also require a light barrier which allows you to measure the half cycle of the moment of rotation. So you place again the light barrier on the half cycle and rotate our cylinder 180 degrees and allow the light barrier to measure the period of oscillation. You perform the experiment for several measurements and take an average from which you can then determine the moment of inertia for all other objects. Thank you.